everything about Olivia impresses and surprises me. Uh, nothing is ever the same. It's all like, I've been saying she's like a child actor, which, is, which sounds kind of weird, but it's like when a little kid is acting and they believe absolutely everything in front of them, you know, it's like all imagination. Um, that is Olivia. She doesn't have the that shield. It's just, she's just totally vulnerable and open. Um, and it's incredible to watch. It's not something you can learn. It's just like, she just has the gift. Rachel brought so much sensitivity and her heart was so in Sarah. When I read Sarah on the page, I think I thought of her as like this very controlling um, person that it was that it would be much colder or something in the performance. And Rachel just immediately softened all of the edges and made her so tr true. So working with Olivia and Rachel was wonderful, and I think they're both so brilliant, so getting to work with them felt like a real lucky break, and I learned a lot from both of them. And the rehearsal process was Olivia, Rachel, me, uh, Joe, Nick, and James with Yorgos and Tony, and we, and Constanza, who's this amazing Argentinian choreographer, and we, for three weeks, just like acted like human noodles and crawled all over the floor and embarrassed ourselves completely in front of each other and by the end felt really, really safe and comfortable with each other. So it was, a, it was kind of an amazing process because as nuts as it felt in the moment, uh, we were also really learning to rely on each other as a team. Um, and that felt very good, especially when we had to be cruel. It's not like, oh, there's a woman in power because she overthrew a man or she was, you know, it, she just is, the queen from the very beginning. There's no argument about who is in charge of the country. And her best friend and her best friend's cousin, who eventually comes in, those are her closest circle. Those are the, pe the only people that seem to be able to advise her. So it just does center on those women because that's just how the story went, um, even in that time period. And then the men, I mean, they're kind of a secondary feeling in this movie, but you know, in, in most movies, the women are, so it's like, that's okay. That can sometimes be the case too. Um, but yeah, I think it, it just sort of, in this very specific case, because she is the leader of the country, because Anne is the leader of the country, it just happens to be that these, these women are, you know, given a great deal of power. Getting into my costume, uh, it being a corset was sometimes pretty challenging, but uh, the costume design by Sandy Powell was so beautiful and so historically accurate, and the fabrics were really incredible because they were super modern. So there was leather laser cut and salvaged denim, and you know, just a, a lot of really amazing uh, materials. And as my character grows in her role going from a scullery maid to a, you know, a lady. Her costumes get more and more opulent and it was really, really uh, cool to see that by the end she wears white because she can afford to get it dirty or, you know, she's um, getting these huge headpieces and jewels and um, I think Sandy is amazing and it was, it was really cool. Working in Hatfield was incredible because, you know, Queen Elizabeth I had gone there as a little kid. The history of it, shooting on location, was just infused a lot, I think, into, into the feeling for everybody. Um, the grandeur was pretty amazing. We had to be very, very careful at Hatfield because everything was so old and there was always kind of like a guy in the corner watching and making sure nobody messed anything up. Um, but I think it just, it, it, it sort of, made me realize that the sort of like the disparateness of being at this level of power, the way you live is like people are so far away from you and you're so, you know, even though you're surrounded by people all the time, it's very isolating and lonely. And I think that was what was really cool about what Yorgos and Robbie did with the lens in those masters is everything feels sort of distorted and strange and there are these tiny people in these big environments. And um, so yeah, so it really, it, it was uh, very helpful.